I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with a bit of a different video today. I was taking a bit of a prayer walk and uh, we had our equipment with us and the Lord dropped a message on our heart. And I want to share this message with you, my dear friend. The title of my message is Let Your Light Shine, especially in 2022 and onwards. Let your light shine for God. Now as we begin, wherever you are, just surrender to God, lift up your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud, say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me and come and bless me. Help me to pray and help me to receive. Help me to be a shining light for Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, from verse 14 to verse 16. It says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I'll read that to you once again. It says, You are the light of the world. Who is the light of the world, my dear friend? Us born-again believers. You who is watching this video. You are the light of the world. It goes on and says, A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. So, my dear friend, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Don't let your light be hidden. Let your light shine. Let it shine out. Don't hide the light. Many people make the mistake of being ashamed of Jesus. So they hide their light. They try and keep that light in secret. But rather, wherever you are, in your workplace, in your community, amongst your friends, amongst your family, let that light shine. Let it shine out bright and be an impact in this world. The way you can be an impact is by letting that light shine. It goes on and says, Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Put your light on a stand and let it shine and it gives light to everyone in the house. Let your light give light to everyone in the house, that they may receive the light and be impacted. You see, my dear friend, the light of God that shines through us as born-again believers pushes back the darkness. It pushes it away. So even those around you who need the encouragement of God, who need a touch from God, they will receive a touch even as you let your light shine. It goes on and says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. My dear friend, I encourage you. As a man of God, as a minister, an ordained minister, I encourage you. The purpose of us ministers is to equip the saints. And one of the greatest equipping you can receive is the encouragement to let your light shine. Never be ashamed of it. Never hold back on it. Never hold back on letting your light shine. Let it shine out to the world and God will bless you. Now, I want to take a few moments to pray with you and for you. And I trust know, and believe God is going to release grace and God is going to do what only he can do. So wherever you are, begin to praise God. Praise him and thank him in your own words. Father, we just praise you and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your light that is shining bright and touching us and changing us. Even today, your light is shining and touching, my dear friend. Bless my dear friend who is watching this video mightily and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude, a greater level in you, for the glory of King Jesus. Let my dear friend's light shine and receive all the praise and honor, even as my dear friend's light shines out. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. As I begin to pray for you, I encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. Where two or more are gathered in agreement, 
the Lord is there. Where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So comment and agree, and God will bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Release grace and divine abundance, even as I stretch my hand towards this camera, that my dear friend's light will shine and shine bright and shine out so that the world may see and know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that the darkness in whatever area my dear friend is will be pushed away because when the light shines the darkness is dispelled let every form of darkness of the devil of the enemy of the evil one be pushed away in the mighty name of Jesus and bless my dear friend mightily use my dear friend to cause a mighty impact around the world for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen my dear friend may God bless you to be a shining light for him wherever you are and wherever you go may your light shine and don't hold back don't hold in don't keep it to yourself but share it with others freely you have received freely give from 2022 onwards the world needs the light of God to shine. The children of God need to shine bright. We need to step up and stop holding back and let our light shine. That is what will change the world. Take your phone out. If you're not watching this video on your phone, take your phone out and switch on the light as a prophetic act and take that light and shine it around. I'm going to let my light shine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine all over. Do a prophetic act and let it shine. And even as you do that, my dear friend, may your light shine bright. May God use you for His glory. May God do miracles, signs and wonders in your life. You as a born-again believer are special. You are a special generation, a special breed of individuals. You are not the normal person as everyone else. You are born again of water and of spirit. You are a special breed. You are of the breed of Jesus Christ. You are of the family of God, born to make a difference, born to shine, to shine bright, born to stand out and not fit in. Stand out by letting that spiritual light shine. And as your light shines, may all the darkness be chased away in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. Share this video with your family and your friends and share it with anyone who might be discouraged in this time. Any born-again believer you know who is feeling down and out and feeling like giving up, share this message with them and let them be encouraged to let their light shine because God has not forgotten you and God will never forget you. He can never forget you because His Word says, he will never leave you and He will never forsake you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and I'll see you again soon. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.